guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I have a fun video. This one was requested by one of our Instagram followers. Um, her name is Sam for a day. Sam, I hope you don't mind that I'm giving you a shout out on here, but it's gonna be a really fun one. Today I'm gonna be showing you, hold on, let me grab it, how to fill out your Bible with fun different tabs and tassels and just basically Bible marking ideas. So I've been doing this in, ooh, let's see if I can get them all, um, in all of my Bibles since I started. This was my first one. As you can see, I didn't discover the joy of all of the variety of things that I could put in my Bible to mark my pages up until my next couple but I've really enjoyed getting to do this and I've um, found some pretty creative ways so that it's not always the same thing. My second Bible ended up being a lot of tassels and now this third Bible, I kind of have a pretty good variety of items. And so today I'm just gonna show you and talk to you about some of the things that you can find in stores already pre-made um, and then some DIY ways to create your own things to mark your Bible pages. Is. and um, yeah I think without further ado we should probably just get into it all right you guys so I've got an array of things around me and I am going to just go ahead and get started showing you kind of some of the things that I like to put in my Bible so first things first there are some things that you can just find at the store pre-made super cute little like paper clips um, I'll try to get them a little bit closer, but you can find they're just paper clips with some things like just a little bit different. Usually I find these in the planner sections or um, kind of near the scrapbooking and paper aisles in my craft store. Um, I found some of these cute ones. This one's a cactus, an ice cream cone. You can find lots of cute little different paper clips, which are always fun and super easy, like no skill required to pop that into your Bible. Okay guys, I just was editing and I remembered that I needed to give you some more information about these pre-made clips because we actually have pre-made clips in our shop, our Etsy shop. So the link is down below. Um, we have really cute ones. Some of them are similar to what you see here, um, but they're just a little bit different, a little bit uh, more professional than the ones I put in here. Just in, they look a little bit better. Um, but yeah, if you're interested and you don't feel like making these yourself, go ahead and head to our Etsy shop where you can get your own. So the next thing that we like to do, and this one's a little bit more straightforward, is to actually do tabs. And I, um, have in the past sometimes I'll just like keep some on hand that are cut out of scrapbook paper or what have you um, but recently I discovered a really neat trick and I'm going to show you um, how I do that and I'm going to use just some of the um, scrapbook tip-ins that we have in our shop to do that so first first things first I'm just going to have to cut that out Okay, so I have my little um, tab or tip in, sorry, cut out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it um, and make sure that it's, it's thick enough that I would be able to fit a tab into that. Then with my tab cutter, I'm going to make sure that this folded side is facing up where the top of the tab would be, which means I'm gonna need to cut off this little bottom section so that I can fit it into the tab cutter. So then I'm gonna slide that in, Oops, getting a little stuck. And what I want when I slide it is to have a, that folded edge, sorry, let me get up there close, should be positioned so that it's not going to be cut. So it needs to be just below the top where you're going to um, cut the, the tab. So, sorry, I was getting a little confused with where it was at, so I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's positioned to where it's not going to cut the top. And then I go ahead and cut it out. 
and there I have a tab that has the same paper on either side um, and you can just glue those in however you want. This also works on um, like if you have actual printable tabs um, instead of hand cutting them out as long as they're the right size for your tab cutter we have some in our shop that are the right size for these um, then you aren't having to hand cut out all these little details so I love the tab tab cutter I think that's a super fun way um, to add some a marker to your page the next thing is just really simple we actually have a blog on how to create these ones and I will link that in the description below um, but these ones are really super simple. So what I do for these versions is I take a paper clip and you can use either ribbon or um, scrap fabric and you just cut your piece. So I'm going to go ahead and use a scrap of fabric um, and you're going to want to cut a piece. I don't know about like, what is that? Like two or three inches long and then fold it in half and slide it through your paper clip, the top of your paper clip, and kind of get an opening there. And then you're gonna slide that opening over the edge and pull through the two loose ends and just pull those tight. This one I made a little bit shorter. I might've wanted to make that a little bit longer, but it's really cute either way. So that one's like so easy. One thing I sometimes like to do with the fabric pieces um, if I want it to be maybe a little bit more like a tassel or just have a little bit more um, like fluffiness is I'll go in after I've done it, after I've tied it and cut down the center. Oop, there we go. And then it kind of is a little bit fluffier. So um, I just think that's really cute. So yeah, you can do that with um, fabric or with ribbon. Either way, super easy on a paper clip. Okay, so the next two options that I wanted to show you are similar to ones you've already done, but these ones are with washi tape. And so the first one is um, like this paper clip, the paper clip one that we did with the ribbon and um, the fabric strips. So basically what I do is I take my washi tape and I get a pretty long piece, like double the size I'm gonna want it to be. And then I'm going to rip that in half. It doesn't really need to be exact, just kind of approximately what you're wanting. So I take one of my pieces and I kind of just fold the very little edges over and I stick it down to my table and then I take my other piece, and this is kind of the hard part. You just have to either not be too much of a perfectionist when it comes to this, or be careful um, to line it up directly on top of it, and you're gonna stick both sticky sides together. And I'll take my scissors and snip any extra sides that are sticky. If I got really off on one side or the other, sometimes I'll just slightly cut along that edge to get rid of anything that might stick to other stuff in my Bible. Um, and then I go ahead and fold it in half and do the same technique. The only thing that's really different with the washi tape is that you have to be a little bit more delicate because sometimes it can tend to rip if you are a little too aggressive. Um, but, in, and like the more kind of rubbery um, or like, I don't know, plasticky feeling washi tapes work a little bit better for this just because they don't rip as much as the papery ones. Um, I don't know, if you know what I'm talking about, bless your soul because I don't know how else to describe it. And then, I don't know, I usually just like to cut a little bit on the edge so that they kind of have pointy little points or whatever. You can do whatever you like with that. And then the next washi tape one that I like to do, um, I usually use a thicker roll with this <coughs> and I use my tab punch to to do um, a tab. So this one you don't have to get quite as much and you don't really have to worry about sticking it down the same way as those ones. And for this one, you're gonna go ahead and um, 
tape them together, but you're gonna leave a small portion un, um, not stuck together. So this is where you kinda gotta finagle what you got. Okay, so if you can see that, this side is still sticky. Um, either side really is. And I'm gonna cut off the edges and then one of the other sticky sides. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my tab cutter again. This time I'm gonna have whatever sticky side is there up and I'm gonna put it down towards the bottom. And this can be a little bit more tricky because it's gonna wanna stick sometimes. Okay, so then you have that there at the bottom um, and then you can just go ahead and cut. Sometimes it doesn't always want to cut as well, so you kind of have to force it, force its hand. But then what you have is like a little sticker. It's double-sided, but then you don't have to worry about adding extra glue or anything. That side's already sticky, and you can just stick it right into your Bible. Okay, the next one is similar, but a little bit different. This is, I did these with ribbon. Fabric might be a little bit more challenging, but to do a little bow at the top of your paper clip. And what I do for these is, I will actually, while it's still on the whole roll, try to tie my bow just so that I make sure I have enough. And once I have my bow and I'm liking the way that it looks, I'll pick my paper clip. I'll just pick one of these as well. And what I do is on the back side of the bow, I take a hot glue gun and just do a little dot of hot glue and then just set your paper clip in there and let it set until it dries. And then you have a super cute little bow to put at the top of your page. Um, the reason I don't tie these ones on is because it's just a little bit harder to get your bow to look right if you're tying it on versus hot gluing it. So I just think the bow looks a little bit um, better when you just hot glue it instead. All right, so next things is tassels and pom-poms. Um, oh, let me find my little pom-pom over here. Um, you can find some, like these ones here are all um, paper clips that I have found with tassels or pom-poms already attached. I found those at Hobby Lobby, I think. So you can find them pre-made, super easy, obviously, but you can also make them yourself. So I have found some of these super adorable, tiny um, tassels and pom-poms. I found these ones at Michael's in the jewelry section. Um, you can order, I found some of these cool, more like um, suede leathery uh, tassels on Amazon. And these are just super easy. You can take a paper clip and just slide those on. So let's say, let's find a color that I like this one. Um, it's seriously as easy as taking your paper clip and sliding the tassel onto it. Um, and I love tassels. My Bibles have so many of these. I don't know why I prefer these to the other things, but I just think they're so pretty and fun. So that's a really super easy way. I haven't ever tried to hot glue like a bigger size pom-pom, but I imagine that it would work pretty similar um, just hot gluing. All right, you guys, so the last one is pretty much just kind of the fun random bits and bobs that you can hot glue to a paper clip. I have here some um, fake silk flowers, I have a little key, I have some buttons. This could literally be anything you want. Um, you maybe like a little anything like miniature that's adorable. You know, you can get like those little mini adorable things in like the dollhouse section of Hobby Lobby or um, anything like that. And so I'll just show you these ones that I've done, um, but you can seriously get as creative as you want with it. I'll start with the flower. Um, usually what I do for the flower is I'll take my hot glue gun and the way I'm gonna place it in here is I want this little um, this little piece of the flower to go through the paper clip and I'm gonna adjust it. So I'm gonna put some hot glue right at the top edge that I want um, the paper clip to go across and then just set it right in there. 
and let it dry. And then you have a super cute little flower paper clip. So then for like the key, I did a similar thing. I just, um, I wanted it to kind of come down a little bit. So I will put some hot glue more right up here and maybe a little bit right there too. And you're just gonna set that there. Um, if you are like concerned about being able to see the hot glue through, you kind of can. I don't know, I don't, I'm not gonna really worry about that too much, or I can, actually, I can get it off. There we go. Um, so, then you have a cute little key one. Um, like any of those kind of charms that you can find um, in like the jewelry section would be another great thing to use as well. Um, and then for buttons, um, you're just gonna figure out which side of the button you want to show and which one you don't. And I just do it like at the bottom. I don't wanna do it in the middle cause I really want it to stick up and stand out. So I just pop those on the side that I want to, um, so that it will stick up out of my Bible more. Okay, you guys, so I totally finished filming and everything, and then I realized that there was a couple other things that I didn't even mention that I do a lot as well, and I thought, I'll just show you really quickly. I don't think I need to show you how I do it. It's a little bit, it's pretty straightforward, but I thought you guys might like this idea as well. Um, so, Basically what it is, is I will take, ooh, let me, let me scoot a little bit closer. It's, if you can see right here, I will take um, a printable item that I'm already planning to use on my page and I will just raise it up a little bit to the top so that it sticks out of my page and I can see where it is. Let me see if I can flip through here and see a couple other examples. Um, sometimes it's a word. Here's another example of, um, some words that I put up there. Um, oh, here's a good one. These are like some like hexagon tip-in type things. And again, just put it right up at the top so that you can see um, when your Bible is closed that there is a few little pieces in there. I can see here's another example at the back of my Bible. Um, and that's just another way, it's different. It's like, it's like doing a tab pretty much, but it just has a different shape and it's just a little bit more unique. So that's another really fun idea if you are on the hunt. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. There's a bunch of different ways to add a page marker to your Bible. You've got tabs, paper clips, all sorts of fun ideas. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you um, do end up doing any of these, please, please share with us how they turned out with you, for you on Instagram, Facebook, any kind of social media. You can comment down below and let us know how these turned out for you. And we hope you're having a great day and that you have a great time experimenting with these for yourself. Go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all of those good social media things. We're all over there and we love to share inspiration and ideas for Bible journaling over there too. All right. Thanks guys.